Enough said! You fucking killed him! Oh, Ms. Manhattan, would you like to speak privately? Ana de Armas and Ben Affleck star in an erotic thriller brought to you by Chex Notes Prime Video. Yet, after being mysteriously removed from the release calendar, Deep Water has made its debut on the streaming platform. For those who weren't able to make it through the film or were left confused by its ambiguity, we've got you covered. As we get into the details though, be forewarned, Deep Water spoilers follow. By the end of Disney's 2022 movie Deep Water, which was acquired in its 20th Century Fox deal, several people connected to Vic and Melinda's romantic entanglements have died, with the final act cementing the twisted dynamic between the main couple. Amidst all of the death, anger, and immoral conflicts, Melinda and Vic's marriage comes out of deep water stronger than ever, providing a clear contrast between the seemingly quintessential suburban romances of their friends. The outward appearances of Vic and Melinda seem to show a pleasant, even-tempered, even slightly pathetic guy and a center of attention, sexually empowered woman, but below the surface tells a completely different story, as exemplified by Deep Water's twist-filled ending. Going. Deep Water ends with Vic and Melinda finally feeling more passionate in their marriage, albeit after he has killed two of her lovers in cold blood. A little something. Although Melinda was sure that Vic had killed her lover Charlie, Euphoria actor Jacob Bellardi, she becomes more attracted to Vic and doesn't immediately accuse him of involvement when she hasn't heard from her latest paramour, Tony, Finn Whitrock. After a pleasant picnic with Melinda and Trixie, Vic returns to the river to better hide the body of Tony, only for Melinda to simultaneously find Tony's wallet inside a box of Vic's snails. Melinda calls Don, a new neighbor who suspects Ben Affleck's character of killing Charlie, where after Don confronts Vic at the gorge. After seeing Vic moving Tony's body, Don drives on his car to tell the police, with Vic hopping on his bike to stop Don. When Vic rides his bike in the direct path of Don's car, Tracy Lett's character swerves off the road, falling to his death as he drives off a cliff. At home, the Van Allen's daughter Trixie sees that Melinda has packed a suitcase, so she throws it into the pool and tells blonde actress Ana de Arma's character that they're not leaving. Trixie, what are you doing? We're not going! When Vic returns home, he finds Melinda sitting on the stairs with a slight smile on her face, only for deep water to cut to her character burning all of Tony's licenses that she found with Vic's snails. By the end of Deep Water, all is well for the Van Allen's marriage, if not even better than before. Why Vic lied to Joel about killing Martin McRae, Deep Water's drama begins when Vic confronts Melinda's lover, Joel, at a party. Vic tells him that he killed Martin McRae, Melinda's last lover who went missing, as a way to scare Joel off. Deep Water's characters typically take Vic's statement as a joke, though it successfully scares off Joel and leaves screenwriter Don increasingly suspicious. Vic tells Melinda that it was an innocent joke after she becomes angry, but Deep Water hints that Melinda lies beneath the seemingly indifferent demeanor of actor Ben Affleck's character. Later in Deep Water, it's revealed that Vic truly didn't kill McRae, as he told Joel he killed him with a hammer when he was actually murdered with a gun and the real person responsible was apprehended. While Vic and his friends maintained that his lie about killing Martin McRae was just a joke, it was really the beginning of Vic's anger and jealousy boiling over the surface. Since Vic would truly go on to kill two of Melinda's lovers, telling this lie seemed to be a mistake, as he would become the first suspect when Deep Waters Charlie and Tony turned up dead or missing. No service. In reality, it appears Vic was bored with his indifference to Melinda's affairs, but the rush from finally standing up to one of Melinda's lovers fired a passion in their marriage that he hadn't felt in a long time. Deep Water's roller coaster ride of a story is about the facades that suburban couples may put on after becoming bored in their marriages and the lengths they may go to stay together and maintain their picture perfect charade. Of course, Disney's 2022 movie is an extreme example of this phenomenon, but takes from many real-life marital struggles relating to infidelity, the desire to keep a family together, and a lack of passion as time goes on. Deep Water's story largely portrays the idea that every relationship looks different to those inside them, as the projection of Vic's mild-mannered, indifferent persona is truly a mask he puts on when, in reality, he's a ticking time bomb of anger and violence. In the end, Deep Water is a twisted tale of a toxic marriage in which they finally demonstrate their love, renew their passion, and reach a climactic unifying agreement, wherein the core couple is complicit in each other's immorality. 
Vic by Melinda's infidelity, and Melinda by Vic's homicides. While the majority of 1990s Jacob's Ladder director Adrian Lyne's erotic thrillers end in the madness concluding once the pair are brought closer together or resolve their conflicts, Deep Water's ending provides a different outlook. The end of Deep Water instead suggests Vic and Melinda's back and forth turmoil will continue and sardidly makes them a stronger couple through the complicity in one another's sin.